to another commentary done by Diggity. This is Gooseheaded versus Raz from the lower bracket round three. To realize I didn't have quite organized. I'm missing some Urban replays in the midst of this, which makes me sad because I really like highlighting Urban because he's. Uh, I guess I can't play favorites, but <laughs> Raz and Urban, they they Ur Raz Urban and Machine quietly. I root for them. Goose is getting there. Goose actually had a really good showing, by the way, at the uh, Chatland in Chicago that was played uh, the la probably the time this uploads the week before last. Um, be sure to check those matches out because I hear there were a lot of fantastic matches. I won't spoil anything from there. So if you guys get an opportunity, you can check it out. But a really fun. They, they had Julia from uh, out in, uh, I'll just say EU because I'm trying to remember if I don't want to missay it, but I think Julian is, is Polish. Okay, that's right. Twitch chat's letting me know that he, he is in fact Polish. I didn't want to misspeak there because, oh, if I must misspoke. Uh, but Zero was also there, and I know for a fact that Zero is Polish. Uh, those guys, Poland actually really hits above its weight class as far as Broodwar goes, but also known for, as BlackmanPL on Twitch. Give him a follow. Um, but he uh, played out of his mind and was one of the stronger players there. Unfortunately, Crossy and Gypsy weren't able to make it, which kind of made me sad. But anyway, Goose, uh, let's talk about the game at hand. Goose headed, opening up with an overpool. He's going to have his work cut out for him because Raz is certainly top level. Raz is a guy who is definitely in the category where if he plays at his best, he would end up taking the entire tournament. Raz actually, another thing I feel about Raz, he's got really, really strong macro. I have never seen a game. I've never seen a single game where Raz did not put himself in multiple positions to win. Uh, the one problem for Raz is sometimes, particularly in late mid game, he has trouble closing things out, oftentimes with a serious lead uh, in a couple circumstances where he just takes his foot off the gas or something happens, loses a bit of concentration or something along those lines. But anyway, also a great guy, really fun to hang out with. I highly recommend if you get an opportunity, go buy Raz a drink because uh, entertainment in and of itself. Anyway, first out queued up, looks like he's gone for gateway first. He's going to get second scout making its way up. We do have a hatchery in the midst of this. How many Zerglings do we have? We do have the full complement of Zerglings being built, which are, sorry, just kidding. Four Zerglings being built. I was expecting six right there. Maybe out of respect to Raz. Raz, ooh, taking a big flurry of hits though. Is that probe gonna make its way out? Drone still hasn't managed to get the scout. Zealot's marching its way across, and it looks like it is gonna be Zealot Zealot into Nexus here. The Zealot's gonna make its way back though. Out. Whoa, okay, is that probe gonna, you know, probe. So Goose in a good position here, was able to deny information to Raz right off the bat. Is that Zealot going to try to sneak out? Raz thinking about trying to sneak it out and then thinking better of it and pulling back. He might have to draw these Zealots back to the ramp depending on how Goose decides to engage this. Goose isn't following up. Uh, so he went three hatch before gas. So it would be delayed on speed if he opted for speed. It doesn't look like he's going to opt for speed. Raz yeah kind of doing the dance so he's like okay are these zerglings going to try to run around and go for that ramp but as soon as that third zealot's out one of these zealots can just go walk it okay he looks like he's got a probe along the line and they can just go hunting back and forth it's going to be a minute though before ooh, careful zealot okay they managed to get a kill right there additional pylon dropping no forge for raz because oh he supply blocked himself a little bit in in the mix of all that so a little bit of a misplay here and so raz uncharacteristically oh dropping the cybernetic score rather than the forge at the natural expansion to try to recover so wants to try to speed up tech as kind of a, a recovery mechanism there of a little bit of a blockade fourth hatchery already up from goose by the way and where this worked really really well in previous rounds i'm trying to remember whose opponent was uh where he pulled this out hydral sten by the way Second probe somehow snuck out. I think he snuck that out even before I was able to catch it. But getting that probe out and seeing the second hatchery, I wonder if Raz has managed to sneak out and see that third hatch out in the field. Or I should say third base out in the field, so fourth hatch overall. So it's going to be four hatch Hydralisk. Now, against other opponents, I would be like, okay, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough for them to, to scout this out and ha get that intel. Raz has the intel. He's got a lot of zealots on the ground to potentially punish this. He's already got plus one weapons queuing up. And I'm almost wondering if uh, with what he scouted out in the field, if that's why he opted to get the cybernetic score down a little bit earlier to maybe get a faster Citadel of a Dune, which we see plopping down right this second. So this is going to be a very fast zealot leg speed plus one weapons. And I could see it being overwhelming for Goose. In the meantime, 
uh, uh, idle speed about halfway finished. This this sort of hatchery play works really, really well when you denied information. But when you have a player that knows how to respond like Raz and is, yeah, he's already marching out in the field. I was about to say he's going to, so he's going to push into this and try to get as much damage done, recognizing that third hatch up while he has that unit advantage. And this is where it can get really, really dicey for Goose. So we got three Hydralisks, but four Zealots. And the other problem is, is he's got to micro this really, really well. These, this is before the Hydralisks have speed to be able to sneak away. So the Zealots able to get a lot of damage done. Goose trying to build what he can and, and get some defense, having to deal with Zealots on all fields. And look the massive amount of kills these Zealots have already gotten. The, the drones absolutely fleeing. Two, all three Zealots are going to try to power this down. Never mind. Two Zealots being left. Another two Zealots in the main and this is before plus one weapons and leg speed have kicked in so great play here from raz what this is doing is this is forcing goose first of all the hydralisks aren't hitting critical numbers to deal with this second of all goose is building hydralisks rather than building drones where he wanted to be previously third not microing on the field as well as he might want to here and that hatchery already taking quite a beating half the health down and he's still sitting at the 22 work account. And if you compare this to the previous match where Goose pulled this off, he was, a, he was just at a fantastic worker count in response to this. And we got two more Zelts actually able to get two, uh, looks like another Hydralis kill out on the front. A couple photon cannons dropping to respond if there was a counter all in play. High Templar already on the way. Dark Templar being built on top of everything else in the space of this. And Psy Storm also being upgraded. These two Zelts have managed to pocket out. They're going to be able to run all over the map. Goose now flooding the Hydralisks down to the natural expansion. I I believe the Cybernetics Core... Well, actually, never mind. No Overlord position. So Goose might be just donating these Hydralisks now. And he's a great spot from Goose, though, to immediately turn around. These Zelt's going to find Zelt League Speed and plus one weapons. I don't know if they're going to get a lot accomplished. Over might be able to get a drone kill here at the 3 o'clock. And if there's not an Overlord rapid... Okay, Overlord is constructing... But here's the problem. Goose is, has to deal with these two Zealots that are running into his base. And if he overcommits with the Hydralisks to the main, that's going to open up that Dark Templar to go to the 3 o'clock. Maybe take out a hatchery, but certainly going to be able to take out some drones. So we got a Zealot at the natural. We got a Zealot at the main. And the Dark Templar is already wiped out. Is got uh, their goodbye. And now it's going to take a while for those Hydralisks to get here. Dark Templar do so much damage. It looks like that Dark Templar are actually going to sneak its way out. So this hatchery's basically just been a liability for Goose this entire time. It's already severely impacted on health. And Raz is really showing some good stuff here earlier. Although the High Templar needs to get back in a defensive slot. So skipping uh, Corsair production just didn't need it because of that excellent scouting. Getting, I actually kind of like the play of moving that Dark Templar back out to... Because basically keeping... So he loses the Dark Templar there. But what that did is that also kept Goose back a longer period of time. Which allowed more energy on these High Templar. And with... And having three Psy Storms rather than two against a full control group of Hydralisks. That's in, or a control group and a half that's incoming with not a lot of units on the ground. Is a big benefit. Absolutely big benefit. So a couple more DT being produced. Still no Overlord... At the forward position, still waiting on uh, Hydralisk range in a space of this. Another hatchery being dropped at 3 o'clock. I think I like that play actually from Goose. Try to prevent it. So now, oh man, good size storm. Initially, another good size storm along that right hand corner. And we've got a big pile of Zelts that again have plus one weapons and speed. And so Goose has to sit back and he's not going to get the bonus of that gateway on top of everything else. The Zelts actually fanning out a little bit. This is the... Uh, okay, they're going to run out on the map. Again, try to draw Goose away to get more time to get more energy out on the front. And now it's kind of Goose is like, okay, do I go? So he sees those Zelts run out. He's going to try to pile drive in. Eats a big side storm right there. Still doesn't have an Overlord. And the Dark Templar right there to plug the gap as well. By the way, range upgrading the space of this. That's another uh, one. I do want to say one weakness of dropping that cybernetics court that natural expansion is you absolutely need to hold your front because if you do not you end up losing dragoon range a little bit later after rebuild that cybernetics court we have high templar scooping up with the dark templar to go out and create some chaos the zealots marching up to the three clock let's see if raz uh keeps him here okay sunken colony right there so sacrifices one zealot pulls out with the rest but this might have created enough distraction for goose 
And again, he's just drawing a lot of these Hydralisks away. He does have two defensive Sunkins at the natural expansion, but no Hydralisks in the back corner. And in the meantime, we had a massive gateway flood from Raz. Raz had a, a very comfortable supply lead. And it looks like he's going in even further to get some additional damage. So scooping up Trekking and Hotkeying that High Templar to get a drop at the natural expansion. He could drop the High Templar here, move the Dark Templar into the main, and be absolutely brilliant. Oh, man. Instant drop. Gets most of the drones there. Dark Templar drops his way out. He's going to go ahead and walk his way into the main. Takes some shots as he's going. The Hydralisk's now in full retreat to get back to the main. And let's see if there's any bonus drone kills in the midst of this. Yeah, a couple, and again, some scattered drones. So, man, Goose's economy has just been absolutely kneecapped in the space of this. And Raz just showing why he's such a formidable opponent. And just really all over the place in the space of this. Plus one weapons, plus one armor, by the way. Do we have, plus, we do not have plus one. Uh, we also have Maelstrom upgrading just in case there was a Spire drop in the space of this. Egg getting opened up from Raz, which lets you know he's planning on moving on to the map. 30 supply lead right this second. Dropping a defensive cannon just in case there was a turnaround uh, Hydralisk drop. Overlord's fanning out for Goose. Wants to make sure he can see another drop if it's making his way in. Uh, control group on the front, but this isn't going to be sufficient to deal with Raz's attack for shortly. 40 supply lead. Raz spotted at the 12 o'clock location. A bunch of Hydralisks in position to... Uh, snipe that shuttle should it make an attempt but while he's got those units in the defensive slot loses his entire hydralisk army that was sitting at the natural expansion so goose was neither able to contain nor stop raz from bribing the third base nor is he oh is he gonna he draws a few more hydralisks out okay raz not gonna go for it that would honestly be a little bit suicidal overlords pressing their way in oh is he gonna just never mind takes a different angle is gonna drop the side storm anyway Catches a few drones, loses the shuttle in the High Templar. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but it does create... That does keep Goose on his toes in a much more defensive slot. And Raz, actually, spot, recognizing the situation, he does have a probe out in the forward field to go ahead and grab that third. Looks like he wants to just go ahead and smash these bases. Might grab a third behind this, but it looks like he might just want to go for the kill in the space of a lot of this. Lurkers are out in the field. We have an obs uh, observer's trailing. A couple overlords latently seeing that army incoming. And now, and Goose in the red, and this is the worst time to be in the red, when you see a gigantic Protoss army crashing towards your position. You really, And he does not have a lot of lurkers to deal with this army. This is looking grim. Double the supply now for Raz. Again, that strong macro showing, making his way in. He has some Maelstrom to work with. So what he can do is he can move this Dark Templar, or this uh, Dark Archon to the rear and maelstrom any defense units that are making their way across just let the dragoons do all the damage they want there's the maelstrom on the reinforcements dropping the side storm as they clutter up to try to defend and that also allow and now yeah goose just has one third the supply of raz and that is gg an enthusiastic gg there i love uh goose headed's actually enthusiasm for this game and just as a person at large it's very inspirational i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it Raz just putting on a clinic right there, though. Thank you for listening.